In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this crazy CRT glitch effect in After Effects. And in my opinion, that looked absolutely <laughs> incredible. So I'm excited to show you guys how to create it. And before recording this tutorial, I thought like, yeah, I gotta go back to the like, go back to the roots now. Like go back to the <laughs> CRT grungy kind of effects here. So yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be bringing to you guys today. And uh, if you guys don't know, I have a all-in-one bundle on my website where I recently included some exclusive grunge presets which is only available in the all-in-one bundle and they look absolutely incredible and in the all-in-one bundle you obviously get all of my editing packs included for the fraction of the original price of them it's an incredible deal if you guys want to elevate your visuals and the link to it's going to be at the top of the description now let's start making this crt glitch effect in After Effects. So here we're in After Effects. I have added some footage we're going to be using for this effect here. Uh, it's from the Escape music video by Nems. And I'm going to be uh, adjusting the footage real quick. So as you guys can see, the original footage has some black bars. I'm just going to be scaling this up. So we are starting on the same kind of page because I think most people have uh, full screen for the footage. And uh, yeah. My composition settings are FHD with 24 FPS. So uh, I'm using the, hopefully the most basic uh, resolution and uh, FPS here. So what we're going to be doing now is basically making a adjustment layer and we're going to do that by pressing Control Alt Y. So here we have the adjustment layer and we're going to start off by using a plugin called Signal. And this is kind of a like VHS camcorder kind of uh, plugin, just so you guys know. Uh, it's going to get this kind of look on your footage and when you tweak some settings and combine this with some other effects uh, more CRT-ish effects it's going to look absolutely incredible so for the effects here I'm just going to be leaving most of this actually at default but at the luma modulation I'm going to be changing the tape errors or uncheck the tape errors here so we get rid of that and we get this raw signal look here on our footage and now after that we're going to be scaling down our uh, effect here and footage so how to do that is basically to add a effect called mosaic so for the mosaic here we're going to be dragging down the resolution here by setting the horizontal and vertical blocks to 350 I found that that was the sweet spot for uh, the amount here or the blocks so if you just make a before and after here it's getting a lot more pixelated here and now to get the crt look here we're going to be adding an effect called grid and we're going to start off by changing the size from now it's on corner points we're going to set it to width and height sliders so we get this big grid here and we're going to start off by uh, changing the uh, separation between the vertical uh, lines and the horizontal lines here so for the width here i'm going to set it to seven and then for the height, I'm going to set the height twice as much as the width, so 14. And I think this is a pretty accurate look to the uh, original like CRT look here. So if we zoom in a little bit, this is going to be showcasing one pixel, basically. And now the pixel is black, which is literally the uh, <laughs> reverse look of the a real pixel. So we're going to be inverting the, the grid here. And now we have bright real pixels here. And what we're going to be doing is just dragging down the border here a little bit to 4. So it's going to be a little bit more close to each other now. And after that, we're going to be changing the blending mode here. So blending mode is going to be under opacity. Open up blending mode. And here I go for either soft light or overlay. I think those two blending modes are the best to uh, yeah, basically achieve the CRT look. But now I'm going to be choosing the overlay. If you look here, we have the pixels here. And now to amplify the CRT look even more, you guys have probably seen that most CRT TVs, they have this kind of curvature on the screen. And how to create that in After Effects is basically to add an effect called CC Lens. CC Lens. And this is going to be giving us this weird orb here, but uh, we're going to be changing the settings here. I'm going to be increasing the size here. I'm going to set it to 175, something like that. Reverse the uh, convergence to something negative so I would say minus 50 is good and now we run into another issue as you guys can see we get this black bars weird background here and we don't want that so how to get rid of that is basically to add a transform effect so I add a transform here and I'm just going to be scaling this up a little bit just scale it up till the corners got uh, completely filled and this is how our CRT effect looks so far 
insanely good. And the next effect is going to be changing the aspect ratio of our footage here, but we don't have to change anything, like no composition settings, dragging the resolution down and all of that. Uh, you can do that, but I'm just going to be making the most effortless CRT effect. You guys can literally drag and drop in and it's going to be looking incredible at the same time. So here we're going to be adding motion tile and this motion tile, you guys can drag this above the transform. And here we have to play around with the output width here. So if you drag the output width down, that's going to be giving the black boards on the sides. So drag this down. Oh, 30. I think 33 is the sweet spot here when you guys get this four by three uh, CRT look here. And now we're adding the lost effects here. So uh, if you look at the CRT screen, they're probably like flickering a little bit, the uh, lightness there. So I'm going to be adding a flicker effect to the effect here. So add a flicker. And here I'm going to be just increasing the amplitude to 0 0.5. So we get a little bit stronger uh, flickering. And then a random color amplitude to uh, 0 0.2. So we get a little bit more colorful flickering there. So if I play a, a little preview to you guys, it's going to look something like this so far. An incredible CRT effect. So after that, add the curves. And here I'm just going to be increasing the contrast a little bit. So increase the contrast like this. S shape here on the curves graph. This is going to look something like this. And then we could add hue and saturation. And here, usually on CRT effects, I like to actually boost the colors a little bit because I feel like uh, most CRTs and the CRT look uh, that's like mostly used and attractive is the ones that's uh, a little bit more colorful, I would say. So I'm going to just make a tiny, tiny uh, color boost by setting the master saturation to 30. This little difference here, a little bit more color to our CRT. And now this is how our effect looks. If you guys want, we could add a small glow effect here on our footage. I would like to drag this under a little bit. Something like that, 150, looks good. I'm gonna set the glow just under the grid effect here. Just a super, super small glow touch there. And that's the final tweak for our crazy CRT glitch effect here. Now, if you guys want to save this as a preset, just select the uh, effects here, go to animation, save animation preset. Crazy CRT glitch effect, and then press save. Now it's saved so we can use it for another time. And now to get some glitches to our CRT here, I'm going to be opening up Pinterest. I just searched up CRT textures and here we guys can find some glitches like this here. A easy glitch like this. You guys will find some textures you guys can use as glitches and basically just download them and then import them into After Effects. So here I found this texture on Pinterest. Just like that, it's gonna look something like this, this glitch. Then drag in next one, found here. And then to get some crazy CRT looks here, uh, just play around with the blending modes. Maybe change the difference. You will get this crazy look here. Glitchy look here, difference. It's gonna look something like this. And this combined with a CRT effect is gonna look absolutely crazy. So if you guys don't know, I have a CRT distortion preset pack, which includes some of the craziest CRT effects out there. And these are the best ones I've seen on the whole market. So I'm gonna be showcasing how they look. And if I just make a adjustment layer here for Control alt y animation presets, user presets, and here we can start off with very bad signal CRT, just drag and drop. And it's going to look something like this. One of the craziest CRT looks I've ever seen, not gonna lie. This looks absolutely incredible. And you guys can see the textures create an even more crazy glitchy look to the CRT here. That's just one of the effects from the CRT distortion preset pack. So we can make a new adjustment layer, Control alt y can make it invisible, the old effect. We can also add an effect here called Ultimate CRT Glitch drag and drop and it's going to be getting this crazy CRT look here absolutely incredible and this is how it looks in action here looks super super fire this effect here make a new adjustment layer here we could add the pixel edge CRT just drag and drop and this is how the pixel edge CRT effect is going to look here it looks absolutely incredible and just I mean just look at these CRT glitch effects here how they merge together with the footage it's just incredible so if you guys really want to elevate your crt visuals the link to the crt distortion preset pack is going to be linked in the description down below other than that take care and have a nice day